pray for one more thing. One of my sons in the Lord, who is a pastor, uh, in Kaduna State, brought something to my to my uh, uh, attention. He said there are some new uh, laws. They call it Erufai New Laws. Uh, and this is a message to Erufai. And I want him, if these things I'm going to read out is true, he, then, he has seven days from now to reverse it. Otherwise, he will not be able to stand the wrath of God that will come. He said, Kaduna, number one, in Kaduna, you cannot preach without license. Erufai, who told you that? He said, every preacher will have to go and get only one year license, license. Renewable every year. That is, you must always preach. You must preach. I mean, you must always preach with without an expired license or you reach two years imprisonment. Erufai. Herod. Number three, he said, if you invite any external preacher, i.e. a preacher outside Kaduna State, he said, such person must be licensed for the duration of his, of his or her stay. And the body issuing the license has the right to reject the external preacher. They feel it's not qualified to preach in Kaduna State. Every preacher who wants to be licensed will, will appear before a screening committee. If he or she is case true, he or she will only be given a license for one year. Number five, he said the law criminal, criminalizes the use of CDs, flash drive, and other communication gadgets, except in religious building or inside your house. That means the law says if you, you cannot play CD, you cannot play a message outside, even in your car. Number six, even in your house. That means, number six, that means you'll be arrested for listening to preaching or religious music inside your car or in any of or in any open place except in your house or religious building. Number seven, if you preach without license, you are guilty of offense, punishable with two years imprisonment or a fine of 200,000. You can't use micro microphone in your church after 8 p.m. You are guilty of offense punishable with two years imprisonment or a fine of 200,000. That means you can't have night vigils. Number eight, since all preachings must be done within a building, it means public evangelism will be, crimi will be criminalized. So you cannot go outside to preach to somebody to accept Jesus. Those who preach early morning, known by some as morning cry, and preaching inside bus, if arrested, will be fined 200,000. Number nine, this could also mean people will not be allowed to go out for evangelism or streets or move with vehicles with address systems to advertise their programs. Please. It's time for the church to pray. Um, now, from the law I see, see here, this is anti Christ and anti Christianity. Erufai, this message is for you. Listen to me, Erufai. The God we serve is not a dead God. Other religions fight for their God. We don't fight for our God. Our God is able to fight for himself. Other religions fight when they, when they, when they, when they insult their prophets. We are not fighting for our God. Some others carry their gods, but our God carry us. Erufai, God says I should warn you. You have seven days to obtain this law. If you refuse to do so, God will visit you. Hey, hey. God will visit you. Hey, hey. God will visit you. Hey, hey. That is why the man removed his Christian deputy governor and brought a Muslim as a deputy governor. And we are not practicing Islamism. We are, we are practicing a free 
uh, nation where everybody is allowed but why will one person we have grown beyond that now Erufa, if this law truly came from you this is a warning from god you have seven days to reverse this or the wrath of god will come upon you hey hey Erufai the herald this law will not stand hey man as surely as the lord liveth if you go ahead with this law within two years of your second tenure you will see god of the christians hey, hey. it's a warning you might take other prophet for granted but this is from god it's a warning you can't take christians for granted reverse it or you see god you have seven days to do